How's all my crispy bacon down there, guys? It is your boy, Crispy Chris, guys. And today, I have a huge announcement, especially for something for people like you and me who are looking forward to Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Now that we have had a lot of leaked games be put out to the public, and people actually already started playing it and getting a lot of the gameplay started, leaking it out and all this other stuff, we have been confirmed, not by Treyarch, but we have been confirmed by somebody who owns the game that we will be seeing supply drops coming right back into Black Ops 3, which is something I've been questioning ever since they released the things about Black Ops 3 that we have not seen anything about. Supply drops returning in Black Ops 3 because supply drops were a huge, huge thing in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare where we were able to be very compatible with getting different sources of equipment and other kinds of things like that because earlier in the year I made a video talking about the different kind of gear that we will be able to cu customize within Black Ops 3 but we did not get any information about how we were going to be able to earn those if it was different kinds of challenges or we were going to be getting a supply drop type based thing and this new supply drop based thing is called quote unquote the blacklist Pretty much what the blacklist basically seems like is like the aftermarket of different things like that. It's kind of like your stocks and your trade market where basically things are just hidden from you and you either put it all in or all out. So I'm wondering if they're going to be bringing back like the currency thing that we have back in Black Ops 1 where you had to earn specific points in order to buy or unlock different items. That would be really cool to me in a sense that... We won't have to level up as much to get the best gun or the gun that we want. We'll be able to uh, basically take that all in by purchasing it with our own coins or something like that. Whatever it is going to be. But I would love to see this coming back in order for us to buy supply drops in a sense from the black list. The black market, the black list, whatever you guys want to call it. Yes, I want to see that come back because that was honestly something that kept me going in Black Ops 1 where I kept earning that money and stuff like that and I took it to the party games hoping that we could win and do like the high challenges, the high rollers. Those are awesome to me and I really enjoyed that. But what do you guys think about the blacklist or the information that we know about so far? The only thing that we know is that there was one near a specialist character meaning that you could purchase this character within the blacklist. So, is it going to be a random supply drop that we get every time? Is it going to be something that we get every time we level up? Or what is it? Is it basically like a jackpot roller where if you roll like straight sevens or something weird like that, or like the equipment is on there and you roll out straight across, you earn it? I don't know what it's going to be, but the blacklist sounds like something very, very hopeful, especially in Black Ops 3, keeping people wanting to come back to play this game. Even though... We do not know how good it's going to be yet, besides from the beta that we had, which I thought it was on point, 10 out of 10 so far this year. So guys, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Please leave a like down below. Make sure to subscribe for more from your boy, Crispy Chris, and I'll see you guys on the flip side. Peace. All that good stuff, but what kind of variants do you guys want to see? I kind of want to see some second.